What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Suikoden Tier Creus. So, here at Moana, we got a new quest available The Return of Megion. I think that's. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a, other new ones as well, but this one we definitely want to do because this will allow us to recruit three characters. Let's see. Messengers from Megion have arrived here in Cragbark. Could you please ask King Dolph if he would return? Signed, Tigri. You've made up your mind, right? Meet with Megion's messengers. Go to Cragbark. Who's this Me Megian? Oh, Me is it Megian or Meg Megian? Something like that. Guy. Hmm. I don't know much more than what is written in there. It looks as if our tribe has brought its troubles along with it. Oh, King Dolph. Why are you still reading about Megian? You know about him? Well, yeah, he's incredibly well known among the fierce roar you see. Well, if he's that famous, you'd think I'd have heard of him at some point. Well, there are a lot of different stories, even among the fierce roar. If he is making a move, then Razor and I must go to get this under control. Me too? Yes, yeah, sorry about this, but I'll need... You to come with me. But wouldn't it go anyway, so it's no problem. King Dolph, I will accompany you as well. Oh, and me too. Very well, we shall first return to Cragbark. Got it. But at least tell me what's going on. Okay, so they're all companion now. Oh, King Dolph. You have returned to us. And Razor, thank you as well for coming all this way. Hmm. So there's some kind of trouble here? Yes. What of the messengers from Megian? Uh, I took the liberty of sending them to the Royal Pavilion. Please excuse my impudence. No, that was a sound decision. If they were left to wonder about, it might upset the others. Well then, let's go meet. Let us go meet them. All right. Well, well, well. You we finally decided to come back. Do you know how long we've been waiting? Uzmil, I thought it would be you. <laughs> Don't come near me. I didn't come here to play games with you. Until we are finished with the business at hand, you just sit there like a good kitten. I don't care about your business. Would you prefer if I were to scratch off all your fur and send that to Megan instead? Yikes. Servilla, so stand down. Very well. My sister is easily riled up as well. Oomph. Like you're one to talk. Ah. Uh, got your hands full as usual, eh? Nictus? Nothing of the sort, as long as I can accomplish my duties to Megan and my sister. Oomph. It appears that neither of you have changed. Megan is also... In good health, I take it. He is indeed. Well then, what is this business you have with me? You don't already know? That rumor there is the head... Or, that human... Sorry, it looked like rumor for some reason. The human there is the head, the group known as Razor Co. Company, right? That's me, Razor of Razor Co. Company. Hmm... I, for one, can't tell humans apart, but isn't this one still a child? My oh my, I can see now why 
Megan was so worried. I get that a lot. Osmil, watch your tongue. You dishonor Megan's name. What did you say? Megan would never make light of someone based on their appearance. He would not appreciate you. His messenger running off at the mouth. Running off at the mouth in that manner. Oomph. I take your point. However, it is a fact that the enemy has stolen the souls of our spirits due to the association with him. Yeah, that was a mistake on our part. We feel bad for letting that letting it happen. But we're not going to let things stand as they are. We'll see it back at all costs. Well, that much should be obvious. What Megan is saying is that the fierce royal allied with humans and now see what has happened. Dolph, how do you intend to settle this? Oh, so you demand a settlement and with anger in your voice no less. The fact that I joined up with Razor Company Razor Girl Company was not a mistake. I know this in my heart. Therefore, there will be no talk of settlements. <laughs> so you do not care at all. I'd like to see you try saying that to Megan. Megan awaits in his usual location. It seems he would like to speak with Dolph. Wait, does he think the King of the Furious Roar is at his beck and call? Do not concern yourself, Servilla. Speaking in person is preferable to for me as well. But but you should return ahead of us to inform Megan that we have accepted his invitation. Okay, have it your way. I doubt the king would stand Megan up after all. But if you make him wait too long, he'll likely grow angry. That goes without saying, I know how he can be. Good. Well then, he'll be waiting. Alright. King Dolph, the messenger have made prompt departure. Ma made a prompt departure. I see. Yeah, we should get going. So who's this Megan guy? Our Razor does not know of him. In the past, Megan and I competed for the precision of king. Really? Unlike humans, we do not rely on blood lineages to determine who will become the king. One who possesses strength and has the confidence of the people will ascend to the throne. King Dolph is a great leader, but Megan is popular too. It took a while for a decision to be made. I'll see ya. Remember your place, girl. I'm not saying that King Dolph is not the best, just that I didn't dislike Megan, you know. Of course, this just shows how Megan had almost gathered enough support to challenge King Dolph. Oh. However, at that time the war against the One King had already begun. He did not wish to upset the unity of the tribe, so he took it upon himself to withdraw. And then he left Cragbark telling the others to acknowledge me as their king. Esmil and Nictus, the ones who were here before, went with him when he left. Megian told no one to follow him, but those that those two didn't listen and were determined to go. Hmm. So according to what you're telling me, this Megian sounds like a pretty good guy. Yes, he would have been quite suitable as king. He thought of the tribe and still and likely still does. And for that very reason he may think that my way of doing things is too brash. 
Hmm. And maybe he's forgotten all, about all the stuff with the One King. Well, okay, then I'm going with you to see the Megian. See this Megian. Are you sure? Well, you as the king decided to join me, join up with me because of that, because of all that, right? Ah, uh, you understand very well. In any case, I was thinking that it would be best for him to meet you if we are to appease him. Well, I don't know if it's going to make him feel better meeting me, but I'd still sure like to meet him. Excellent. I have heard that Megian has taken up residence in the decayed ruins northeast of here. That's the usual location that Nick just mentioned. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling I've been to some ruin northeast of here? Oh well, whatever. Let's get a move on. King Dolph, Razor, take care on your journey. Yeah, we have already been there. Uh, we went there earlier, and well, I won't say earlier, but in a past episode we went there. All right, so to get there, you just go through the Chulalu Mountains, and you go to that where the rope is, and then you just go down the rope. Oh, we gotta put a party together. Uh, let's do that real quick. Actually, maybe I'll do it off screen. I'll be right back. All right, I managed to make our way up the Tulu Mountains and here to the uh, plains here. So this is the place. Hmm, I can sense his presence, no doubt about it. She's here as well. I'm going to scratch off all her hair, then wring her neck and twist her tail. Wow. Um, I've never seen Sevilla act like that before. She has some kind of problem with that Uzmil woman. Ha, ah, nothing in particular. They have just been at each other's throats since they were kittens. I suppose you could just call them natural enemies. I see. What are the two of you doing? Hurry up and get in there. All right. Okay, set through the mysterious ruins again. I've already showed all the enemies around here, so I'm just uh, cutting out the random battles. Because we've already been, like I said, we already went through here. Dead in that way. It's a good place to get cherry instances if you need a lot of those. Okay, I think we're getting close. Make sure to heal up here. It's already did. Yep, here we go. Okay. Ah, oh, Dolph. I was growing tired of waiting. Megian. It's been quite some time. 
Oh, so you're Megian. Yep, we saw him earlier. Remember your footsteps. I thought I heard them mixed in with the others. What is this? Are you two, are the two of you acquaintances? Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. But yes, indeed, I had no idea you were the head of Razor Girl Company, though. Well, I can clearly see that Dolph's eyes were not clouded when he chose you, Megian. But still, Dolph, I left the throne to you, believing that you were the one for the for this precision, for the precision. And yet, you have joined forces with humans, and the souls of our spirits were taken from us. To be honest, I am disappointed with you, but I do not want you to think I have betrayed the king. And that's why I want you to let me test this human. Me? Yes, but I already know that you were no ordinary human. I have to see whether or not you are the type who is prepared to sample with the fate or the gamble with the fate of the furious roar. Okay, bring on whatever you got. Haha. This one have some has some pluck. Wait. This is not necessary. Huh? I, the King of the Fierce Roar, have chosen to have Razor at my side. Megian, even one such as you should have no reason to test him. Hmm, very well, Dolph. If that were not the case, then there would have been no point in going and giving the crown to you. But I suppose you already know that. This is unavoidable. Hey, it's four against three, so who cares? Let's take them on. Hey, now wait. Just a second. Are you still talking about me? There's no need to talk. This is the bottom of the Furious Roar. It is indeed. Servilla, you know what this means. I'm going to give you the full-on trou trouncing you've been asking for. Oh, is that all? Don't think I'm... Um, going to be satisfied with just beating the fur out for you. Well, I can't say I really feel like doing this, but once I get started, I'm sure I'll get in the mood. This is the moment I've been waiting for. We shall not be defeated. Take them down. So we're going to go after Uzmil first, I guess. Actually, we'll do a combo attack. Beast Slash damages all enemies. Okay, you can only use the Furious Roar for this battle, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I remember this attack. I remember using this... Uh, not in this playthrough, but in my first playthrough of the game. Yeah, Teclasia, she's the strongest that we have because she's the highest level. Oh crap. Ow. Now we're gonna have to revive him. And then we'll do... Should I do Heavy Trimmer? I need to get rid of this dude. For we die. Hopefully it kills it. Kills him. Nice. That dude had fury on him, so. Alright, we'll do beast roar. Oh, we can't. Oh, it's only one per battle? Oh no, she's unbalanced. Never mind. Crush Quake. 
And then I guess healing glitter yourself. We should win now that we get rid of the the boss, the main the head honcho. So shouldn't have any problems here. There we go, this will finish it off right here. Goodbye. There we go, got him. Ooh, and big levels up there. Six levels for Sevilla, and four levels for, well, maybe five levels for Dolph. There we go. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> Still as strong as ever, Dolph. And you. I will refrain from many uncuffed comments. Now is not my time. You're the king of the fierce roar. You're responsible for our tribe. Do as you will. Megan. Oh, there is one more thing. While we were fighting with you, for some reason my head began to fill out Hazy. Who is the One King? What? Hey, did you just remember that? I don't know. For some reason, the name just came to my into my head. Me as well. I know that that name is as if it is put. I'm supposed to know it, but that's all I know. Only that name, King Dolph. There's star bears as well. No one was surprised by this. Megan, I need you to touch this book. What's all this? You should touch it, Megan. Do it. And it will clear up all of your doubts. Haha. What a strange, strange request. Such a thing. Yep, they all get the vision there. What? What was that? What in the world was just now that? This is very odd. I can remember. Now you see. You see what the One King is. Megan? I do. I do indeed see now. We had lost to him once. And our world was erased. And I had completely forgotten it. I had been living a carefree existence in another world. Well, it stops now. The time for petty games is over. This is... Oh, this is horrible. Megan, the forces of one, the One King threaten the world, this world as well. What do you speak of? I do not intend to lose to him again. That's why I take the risk of fighting alongside Razor. And if the rest of you don't want to lose again, and if you don't want to get erased, then you should join with us. Human, would you have us by your side? With both King Dolph and me present, it would risk splitting the fierce roar into two. I doubt such a thing will happen. I am a member of Razor Girl Company, as you will be. And the leader of that army is Razor. Dolph, to hear you say such a thing, this will be fun. I believe we will take you up on your offer. Great. Looks like I'm stuck with having to be friends with Servilla now. The feeling is mutual. I'm in as well. Well, alright then. It's what I've been waiting for. Okay, everybody. Glad to have you with us. Megan is now an ally. Auzmil is now an ally, however you pronounce her name. And then Nictus is an ally. And it takes us out of there good. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.